Welcome back to Dinar Guru, your go-to source for all updates on the Iraqi Dinar. I'm Sophia, and I'm thrilled to have you here with me today. We may see it by Easter. That's the buzz circulating, and the news couldn't be more promising. Currently, a delegation of Iraqi foreign ministers is in D.C., and according to my insider on the D.C. Beltway, we're on the brink of a significant announcement, the lifting of sanctions possibly by the middle of this week. When sanctions are lifted, it's go time. But let's delve deeper. While it seems Iraq is gearing towards a full RI, I foresee an interim step on the horizon. And if that step is taken, I anticipate the swift elimination of the managed currency peg paving the way for a full RI. So, what's next for the Iraqi dinar? Stick around as we analyze the latest developments. Sift through the rumors, and keep you informed every step of the way. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on all things Dinar. Welcome to Dinar Guru. The economic and political landscape of Iraq has been a focal point of global attention for decades. The country has navigated through periods of severe turmoil. From wars and conflicts to sanctions imposed by the international community, these sanctions have significantly impacted Iraq's economy, its currency value, and its position on the global stage. However, recent developments suggest a positive shift towards economic recovery and normalization of international relations, particularly with the United States. The anticipated lifting of sanctions and the potential for the Iraqi dinar's reinstatement to its true value heralds a new chapter in Iraq's journey towards economic stability and prosperity. Historical context. To fully appreciate the significance of the current developments, it's crucial to understand Iraq's economic history, particularly post-2003. Following the U.S.-led invasion and subsequent overthrow of Saddam Hussein's regime, Iraq faced extensive sanctions, crippling its economy and devaluing its currency. The Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, embarked on a challenging journey to stabilize the dinar and lay the groundwork for economic recovery. Dr. Sinan al-Shabibi, the CBI governor from 2003 to 2012, played a pivotal role in these efforts, proposing a long-term strategy to enhance the dinar's value and ensure economic stability. The plan of Dr. Shabibi and economic reforms. Dr. Shabibi's strategy was ambitious and centered on achieving Article 8 compliance under the International Monetary Fund statutes, which would allow for the dinars, convertibility and foster international trade. His plan outlined a multi-stage approach, initially setting the dinar's value at 1.141 United States dollar and 17 cents per IQD monitoring, inflation, and, contingent upon economic stability, moving the rate to reflect the dinar's true value of US$3.208 per IQD. This approach was not merely about adjusting the numerical value of the currency, but aimed at underpinning it with robust economic reforms, diversification, and sustainable growth. However, political instability security challenges, and global economic pressures have, over the years, hindered the full realization of these plans. The role of international relations and sanctions. Iraq's relationship with the international community, particularly the United States, has been a double-edged sword. While the U.S. has been a crucial player in Iraq's post-2003 reconstruction, the sanctions imposed have also stifled economic growth. The potential lifting of these sanctions, as indicated by the presence of Iraqi foreign ministers in Washington, D.C. and ongoing negotiations, marks a critical juncture. The lifting of sanctions would not only symbolize a vote of confidence in Iraq's current government and its reforms but also unlock significant economic potential. International investments, frozen assets, and oil revenues could become catalysts for an economic resurgence. It's this backdrop that makes the current negotiations and the anticipated announcement profoundly significant. 
Anticipated economic implications. The potential economic implications of lifting sanctions and moving towards full re of the dinar are vast. First, it would enhance Iraq's attractiveness to foreign investors, offering a more stable and predictable business environment. The inflow of foreign capital could accelerate infrastructure projects, energy development, and job creation, laying the foundation for sustained economic growth. Second, the stabilization and appreciation of the dinar would increase purchasing power domestically, reduce inflationary pressures, and improve the overall standard of living for the Iraqi population. It would also signal Iraq's reintegration into the global economy, facilitating trade, access to international banking systems, and technological exchange. Challenges and considerations. While the outlook is optimistic, Several challenges and considerations remain. The Iraqi economy's heavy reliance on oil revenues makes it vulnerable to global oil price fluctuations. Diversifying the economy, strengthening governance, and combating corruption are essential for long term stability and growth. Moreover, achieving full Article 8 compliance and a significant re of the dinar requires meticulous monetary policy management international cooperation, and, critically, maintaining domestic stability. The geopolitical context of the Middle East, internal political dynamics, and external influences can impact these efforts. Please subscribe my channel and support me you guys have a great day. Thank you.